In this video, I want to show how to create some overmolded parts uh, with some indents uh, in various ways. Uh, so one of the things I've done here is I've got this, it was originally a surface model, uh, and then uh, you know, kind of capped off here, and then I knit it to a solid. Uh, and I did that again so that I had two of these because I'm going to lose one of them uh, in the, or not need one of them in the process. Um, so what I want to do is make, say, you know, some pieces that pass through this so I can make a top over motor part or I can make some kind of rib on this uh, to uh, you know, act as a grip or various other features on it. So uh, to start, uh, I'm going to make a sketch on my plane here. So I'm just going to get a spline tool, something that kind of comes in. Mm, yeah, maybe about like that. Let's change the direction of that a little bit. Yeah, probably more like that. And then, uh, let's see, let's make, just hold down control and drag, make a copy of that. That looks pretty good. Let's see, let that, let both of these go in a little more perpendicular to that surface. Maybe not quite so much curvature there. That looks pretty good. And you could do you know, more of these if you needed more of this, or you could, you know, could come down, go around, and then come back out. Um, so once I've got that, uh, now I can use this sketch to create a uh, curve uh, split line from a, or uh, yeah split line on the surfaces, so I can create offsets from those. So I'm going to use projection. So it's asking me for the sketch. We use that, and then for the surfaces that I want to faces that I want to split. So let's pick those two. Uh, it's going both directions, so I don't need single direction on. And, oh, uh, let's see. It probably, yeah, I need to hide that one. And show. Uh, why are you, let's see. Actually, it may have split one of these surfaces. Uh, let's undo that. And there now. Yeah, let me go ahead and hide one of these. Uh, that's what I should have done uh, to begin with. That way I know, let's see, make sure those are hidden. Yeah, so it's only getting these. All right, let's do that again. Uh, so curves, split line pick my sketch, pick my surfaces, say OK, and let's see, yeah, that looks like it's got it, oh, uh, there, that's probably why it wasn't showing up earlier, I had it set to, um, uh, with no edges. All right, so now I've got the, these faces here that I can pick to create an offset surface, so we'll pick that. Uh, let's go off about half a millimeter. That, yeah, that looks pretty good. And say OK. So now what I want to do is reverse the visibility of these. Uh, so again, that way I go back to an unsplit uh, body. So let's hide that one. And let's show that one. And let's hide the surface offset temporarily just to make sure that, yes, that's all one. Piece. All right, so with this surface offset selected, what I want to do now is thicken it. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do one millimeter just to make sure it goes in. 
to it. And here you can either check or uncheck merge result depending on what you want. Uh, so uh, if you want this to just merge with this existing body, then leave that on. Or if you want to use it, say, to do a kind of overmolded uh, piece, um, then leave it off. Um, in this case, let's go ahead and say OK, and you can see that, yes, it goes ahead and merges with this. So you know, this is all one body now, and I could fill it in and, uh, and all that. But if I wanted this to, say, be a separate part with an indent then on this part that it fits into, uh, then I could, um, let's go back to our thicken, let's edit it, uncheck the merge result, say OK. And so now you see, um, if I come here and isolate it, it's its own thing. It's kind of pushed in a uh, half millimeter into the uh, original body. And so what I can do with that then is uh, use this as a way to make an indent in this piece. So uh, to do that, I'm going to, well, first of all, I want to switch to um, a kind of a wireframe mode so that I can see to the inside because I have to pick that interior face and it's a pain uh, through a, when, it, when, when you can see the surfaces out here. So what I want to do is go to insert feature indent and you can make that a um, you know, one of your uh, drag it up here if you use it a lot. I'm trying to remember if I've even got one up here. And I've put some of them in there, but not all of them. So insert features, indent, target body is this guy. Uh, I want to keep my selections. Now I'm not tool body region. This is where it gets tricky. Uh, I want to try to mouse around where I can get that, maybe that interior edge right there. Um, this looks, yeah, I think that's got it. Uh, pick that and it should. If it pops up a point face over here in the, yeah, there we go. And then now I could probably switch back to this and then pick this face. That might be all I need, but I'm going to go ahead and pick this one as well just to uh, be double sure. Also, I probably should have changed this at a time, but all right, I'm going to set this to cut so that it, it cuts into that. Uh, set that to sort of 0.2 right now. I'm going to leave it at that. That's probably a bit big, but I want to leave it so, it, so that you can really see the gap. Yeah, you can kind of see the gap uh, in between those. Uh, re in reality, that'd probably be a lot smaller, but I'm going to say OK uh, with this. And you can see what it's done if I... Um, the thicken you know, it has indented down into this geometry so uh, what you can do from there is um, some filleting so let's pick that face that face that face and that face and let's put a fillet on it uh, yeah, so point two See if it will take that. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then because you can't fill it you know, separate bodies in the same feature, I'm going to come back up. Let's um, show my thicken again and pick that face, that face, that face, and that face, and uh, fill it those. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, so and then we can hide the. So it gives us yeah, an overmolded part uh, that uh, is separate. Uh, and so we could you know, then go ahead and just shell the sky, leave that as is, uh, or you know, do some other uh, kind of combination of uh, methods. All right. I uh, hope this helps.